Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Sussa Squad? Y'all, I know we're busy wearing Drake out. But Sussa Squad, I didn't forget about you. Tomorrow, we're doing live, and we are going to do a victory lap of everything that's happened in the UK. They are melting down, losing their minds. William even had to jog to a beach to make it look like he was surrounded by people. You know, the funny thing is, I know William thinks he's getting back at Harry, but I do feel like William makes himself look stupid because Harry knows these dumb tricks. It's weird, but again, their lives are only pictures, but we'll talk about that in the live because there's a lot to cover. Baby, let's talk about how uh, Charles has finally shown Harry what he feels about him, what he feels about blood, what he feels about what he did to Harry's mom. Y'all, do you know that Charles refused to meet with Harry and Camilla? And I 100% believe that Camilla is running the show. Everything they say about Megan, I think that is Camilla, right? Camilla refused to let Charles meet with Harry. Charles refused when he might not even have life left to meet with one of his sons because at the end of the day, Charles has sent a very important message. Camilla was the one. She's always the one. She's meant more to me, my dear boy, than my kingdom, my money, my mother, my family's honor, and most importantly, more than your mother it meant to me and more than you, my dear boy, ever meant to me. I'll say one thing. Camilla is evil. She always was. She always will be. Why does she focus on Harry? Well, because William's already turned coat. William Parker Bowles, he literally tried to get his mother's interview taken down that was talking trash about Camilla. Camilla knows William cares nothing about power, nothing but power. But Harry, I think, is a different case because Camilla can't stand Harry. He sees Diana in her him so much. She wants to crush what she sees. And it's disgusting. It's pathetic. Let's get into this report. Again, Camilla is the reason why Charles refused to see Harry. Charles is a weak, angry, pathetic, mean-spirited, short-sighted man. And Camilla is that times 10. I get Camilla. Look at her face. Look at her attitude. Look at her personality. Look at her fashion sense. Just look at her. I get it. This is a come up for her lot in life. To find someone as weak and dumb as Charles. And the thing is with Camilla, if she wasn't so evil, she would look like a sweet old lady, right? It's not my style, but she dresses okay. She dresses better than Kate. She dresses okay. There's nothing inherently wrong with the way Camilla looks or is, right? But there's something about the evilness and nastiness of her soul that just creeps out of everything that's hard to overlook. Anyway, and Charles is so weak and pathetic, but I'm glad this is happening to Harry now, right? Because it's these ties he has to his family the family is going out of their way to torture them and sever them. And the more they do that, the less they have to open, to hold over his head. Anyway, they said Charles has decided not to meet his son, Prince Harry, in London this week because Harry's cruel remarks about his wife, Queen Camilla, in his memoir, Spear. Now, you know, the funny thing about this, and this lets you know why Harry was right to leave. William talked trash about Meghan and to Megan, and let the media smear. Charles, right? Don't want anybody saying anything about Camilla. William, I don't think he cares if anybody says anything about Kate, so it's not him. But, but the minute Harry says, respect my wife. <gasps> what? How dare you, the country, your people. It's just, uh, right? Anyway. They said Harry has made things very difficult for himself by saying such cruel and hurtful things about Camilla. He loves his sons, but he also loves his wife. The last few months have made it very clear how important she is. She's been the one propping up the whole edifice. Harry has made it very clear, very publicly, that he despises her. He's forced Charles to choose 
which is a very serious, silly thing to do. Uh, because Camilla and he both choose each other and they continue to choose each other and they chose each other for a long time ago. Again, this is coming directly from Camilla. They're such cap copycats. Remember how Megan said she's not coming back until she gets an apology? Now Camilla doesn't want Charles meeting with them until she gets an apology. They can wait. Why would he want to come back to this? And Camilla doesn't stop. She's evil. William had his reservations. Again, this is all my opinion. You don't have to believe it, but it's my opinion. William had his reservations, but he accepted his father's choice and got on with it. Yeah, because he turned into the man his father is. Of course, he accepted the decision. He is now also tending rose bushes at the Prince of Wales. Harry made a different decision, and one of the inevitable consequences of publicly calling your stepmother cruel names is that it becomes difficult for you to see your father. She is literally publicly antagonizing him, publicly laughing at him, publicly mocking him for keeping Charles away from him. But at the end of the day, I know Camilla's gloating, but at the end of the day, Charles is the same selfish bastard Diana always said he was. This is all Charles. He uses Camilla as an excuse. Another source of friend of William and Kate's quipped, it's hardly surprising that Charles didn't invite Harry around for tea and a scone. He did, after all, portray his wife as an evil, calculating bitch in the biggest selling book since the Bible. Oh. Interesting. Because two weeks ago, Spear was just this and that and nothing. And it was all. But now it was the biggest selling book since the Bible. Which is it? Was Harry's book a success or not? The Daily Mail even says, in fact, Spear broke records for being the fastest selling <laughs> nonfiction book. It is, it is not at least certified as the biggest selling nonfiction book of all time. It doesn't need to be. What's Charles and Camilla's books? Their memoirs. What, what are they? William? What about you? Kate, do you even have one? Anyway. Another source, former Buckingham Palace staffer, said, as far as the palace is concerned, the further away from Harry and Meghan are from Buckingham Palace, the better. Look how distracting Harry's visit has been this week. It's for the Invictus Games. Wait a second. What's Harry's visit distracting from? You opening a test, a m and a Tesco's? You guys were doing nothing at all until Harry showed up. The media should be talking about the king's return to work. You decided to turn. Wow. Harry's honoring disabled veterans that served your country. And you're saying that the king um, should be talking about the king's return to work. Instead, we're talking about a 39-year-old man's daddy issues. If Harry thinks he can drop in for a cup at Clarence House whenever he happens to be changing planes in London, that would encourage him to come here more often, which is the exact opposite of what the institution, institution typically wants from exiled family members. But Andrew's allowed around. These people are sick in the head. The whole point of being exiled is that you are out of sight and out of mind. The courtier also said that Harry's statement saying his father had declined to meet him was childish. In the statement, Harry's spokesperson said, so let me get this straight. You're leaking all this in the Daily Mail, outlining all this. But now Harry actually setting the record straight because he knows this cruel family saying, yeah, I wanted to meet with them, but they don't want to. Because if Harry didn't meet them, how dare you, your dying father. I hope Harry's done with them. This is one of the sickest, most vindictive, most disgusting pieces. This has Camilla's fingerprints all over it. But guess what? It also has Charles's stamp of approval. Because I'll tell you one thing. I don't think Camilla makes a move without Charles, Charles's permission. In the statement, Harry's spokesperson said, in response to the many inquiries and continued speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet with his father while in the UK, and unfortunately will not be possible due to his Majesty's full program, the Duke, uh, the Duke, of course, is understanding in his father's diary of commitments and various other priorities and hopes he'll see him soon. You're mad because, Char because Harry in the statement took away Charles's power? to hide behind. I'm just a nice old man. No, you're a grade A asshole. And Harry put you on blast. The source said it was classic Harry, childish and petulant foot stamping. Everything is always someone else's fault. Even Harry must know the reason a meeting isn't happening is not due to Charles's full program. It's because Harry sold out his own family. 
Honestly, y'all know I never curse. I read this article and all I said was F that family, F that crown, F that bloodline, F everything they stand for. This is who they are. And if they treat their own blood like this, what do you think they treated treated a black American woman who had a mind and a career and beauty of her own and her own money and her own contacts? You guys, thank God Harry got out of that system. We're going to go live tomorrow and talk about the smear campaign they're now going on with Megan because they want Megan to know that she's always going to fail and never going to be a success if she doesn't have the palace behind her. But everybody in the palace is a failure and cannot figure out a way to be a success. Charles, I'm talking to you. Camilla, what do you have to show for yourself? William, you can't even find your way out of the bathroom without your butler holding the door. And Kate, We'll talk about her in a live, right? Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to you later. See you tomorrow for the live, says subscribe. I promise this time. I don't care what happens. You guys actually might even be the first thing I do in the day. What time should I go live? Let me know in the comments. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 a.m., whatever the 1 a.m., um, 1 p.m., whatever the consensus is, that's what I will do. But you guys, don't, don't, don't. Don't play me. Don't be like, yeah, go live 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know what time you guys want me to go live tomorrow. I'll do the consensus in the comments and I will see you there sharp. All right, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.